good, good. So she's excited, she's paying attention. I'm gonna give it a little toss. Good girl, Fox, good girl. Atta girl. Hi, Kat here from Standing Stone Kennels and I have Fox with me today. She is four months old and today we're gonna to be working on retrieving. Retrieving is an important part of a hunting dog's um, life, basically. We want to develop a puppy's natural retrieve at a young age. And to do that, we're gonna start inside today. It's raining, so it's a good day to do that. And we've got our area here set up to try and build on success. So we've worked on recall with Fox using clicker training. So we're gonna build a little momentum in our training session first doing that. But then we've got this kind of narrow hallway set up. There's baby gates or puppy gates set up at one end um, so that she can't dart off and run into the rest of our house uh, with her retrieving objects. And then we're gonna have her come back to us here. Another thing to keep in mind when you're working on retrieving is you don't wanna overdo it. Uh, a lot of people get really excited that their puppy's doing a good job with retrieving and they retrieve and retrieve and retrieve and it just gets to be too much. Uh, your puppy will either get bored with it or they'll start developing a few naughty habits like laying down and chewing on the objects. So those are all things that we wanna try and avoid. And if we can keep our sessions pretty short and build on a successful session, uh, we're gonna keep developing behaviors that we want out of our puppy, which is a nice natural hold, a retrieve straight back to us. So we're gonna start with that uh, by, like I mentioned, building some momentum on recall. I've got my clicker with some food. I'm just gonna grab a scoop of it. We don't need to do too much of these just so that we try and build a little momentum of, hey, Fox, you're not with me. Now I want you to come to me and she's gonna come. Here, good, got a lot of focus. Here. If we can build some momentum in this training session where she's here recalling to us, then when she runs out and gets that retrieving object here, she's already gonna be in the frame of mind of, hey, once I get this, I come back here. Good. Because retrieving is two parts. Running out, picking up the object here, and coming back with it. That's what makes a retrieve here. Good. Now, once we start using the object for the retrieve here, I'm not gonna keep using treats because if she comes back expecting a treat, most likely she's just gonna drop the object and I don't want her here dropping that retrieving object. Uh, a lot of people ask their puppies to drop when they come back to them here and we don't. I like to build um, a natural hold here where that puppy brings back the object and holds on to it. And the reason for that is when I'm hunting, if I've only potentially wounded a bird or something like that, I don't want the puppy bringing it back or the dog bringing it back and being in the habit of just setting it down because it could potentially run off. And we wanna conserve game. So if I have a wounded bird that runs off and then we don't recover it, then I feel like that was my fault in training that I should have done a better job preparing my dog for that. So coming back, holding onto it until you take that object or that bird from them is what we're gonna try and develop here. I'll grab a bumper to start out with. So we've got a little bumper with some wings on it. That's kind of fun to try and play with. We work on getting our puppy excited about this object, doing a little tug of war with it. Good, good. So she's excited, she's paying attention. I'm gonna give it a little toss. Good girl, Fox. Good girl. Atta girl. Hey, we just wanted to take a second and thank you for watching our videos. If you're liking following along with our content, make sure to give us a like, as well as if you would like early access to these videos, check us out on our Patreon account. It's an online dog training community where you can ask us questions, get help training your own dog, get access to cool gear, discounts on our online store, and a lot of other great opportunities. When she brings it back, play a little tug. Yeah, good girl, make this game exciting. Uh, people a lot of times aren't sure about playing tug. Oh, good girl. 
But um, we find that playing tug of war keeps the game going. She goes down there, grabs the object. Well, to keep this game fun, I bring it back and we get to play this fun tug of war game. Good girl. As well as um, when she brings it back, she doesn't want to let go of it. She wants to keep holding on to it so we can play this tug game. Um, so it's again developing that natural hold that I'm looking for. Good. Had a girl. Good girl, Fox. Good girl. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. And she goes down there, grabs that object, and then tried to kind of avoid me for a second, but I refocused her attention and she came right to me. Good girl. But people a lot of times don't like the tug game because they think it's going to make a dog hard mouthed on their birds uh, and fighting them for them. And we haven't found that because once she's played tug and we've got her back here and she's calm and just holding on to it, then she's got a nice firm grip and I can just open her mouth and take it from her real easy like that. Good girl, good girl. Had a girl fox. She goes down there, gets it. Good girl, good girl. Right back. Good. <laughs> you let go of it. So we get to do a little tug. That's fun. That's real fun. Go ahead and grab it. Go ahead and grab it. Good girl. Good girl. So I have a couple other objects that I had with me just in case she wasn't interested in the bumper because not all puppies want to pick that bumper up right away, but finding a toy that they like, a rope toy or something like that, you can always use that for retrieving games too. Ready for another one? Good girl. Going down there, picking it up real nice. Good girl. Play a little tug. Play a little tug. This is fun. Good girl. Good girl. She's holding on to it real nice. I'm gonna settle her down here, pet her, praise her, let her know what a good job she did. What a good job, Fox. Then I can just, like I said, either open her mouth just like that. It doesn't take much. And then you've got that bumper back, but she's super focused and excited and she wants another one. That is exactly what we want. We want her to want another one. We want her to be ready, excited for that next retrieve. We don't want her to get bored with this game. So when she's still focused and excited is when we end the game. So I'm gonna just put that out of sight, out of mind, set it back on the table. But it was um, a really good training session. She was running out there directly to that bumper, picking it up with a nice hold, coming back to me. She kind of tried to avoid me just a little bit once, got her attention with her name. She came right back to me. Play a little tug, keep that game exciting of her wanting to bring it back to you. Otherwise, if your puppy brings you your object and you immediately just pull it out of their mouth and take it from them, maybe they're not gonna wanna bring it back again. Where are you going? Come here, I should put a flat collar on you so I have something to hold on to. Um, but then they bring it back to you, you play with them a little bit, praise them, tell them what a good dog they are, and then go ahead and give them another toss. Um, I can't give you an exact, hey, do three retrieves, do five retrieves, do 10 retrieves, because every puppy is different and their focus is gonna be different, their level of drive and desire to make those retrieves is gonna be different. So you have to read your own puppy and you definitely wanna quit before they do. And if you maybe pushed it a little too far one training session, don't worry. Just the next session, do a few less. Keep track of how many you're doing and just do less the next time. As well as you don't need to play retrieving games every single day. Do it a couple times a week and that's plenty. Are you getting, getting tired of just sitting here? Well, we will wrap this up I wanted to let everyone know that that cool bumper with the little wings on it from DT Systems is what we're gonna be giving away today with this video. So if you want a chance to win that, make sure that you're liking our Facebook page, like this video, share this video and comment on it. And those are gonna get you an opportunity to win one of those awesome bumpers. Um, we will be back with more training sessions with Fox soon. She is about ready to start collar conditioning, which is going to make this retrieving even more solid. So thanks for watching and we'll be back soon. Mm -hmm.